You yeah. were like the kid in Almost Famous. You hmm. were just watching all the people coming in and out. And uh, yeah, and, yeah. And so you saw every. You saw so much stuff. How much therapy have you gone through? We'll talk about that. This is your interview. It's about you. So you're Bob Saget. I am, right? That's crazy. And I met you, Paulie, when you were, what, nine? Was I nine? What year did you come to the store? Uh, 78. 78. Because I remember used to, I remember seeing you with the guitar. Yeah. And I was pissed off that I didn't ask you to bring the guitar in today. I don't do it uh, anywhere. Anymore. I know. Well, that's why I wanted you to problem, do it. Man. No, right. but that's why I wanted you to do it. He's fucking really good. Danny Tanner was not gay. Tell me why they lived in San Francisco. Tell me why they went through lots of Crisco. Tell me why. I got nominated for a Grammy last year for, not for the music, but for my comedy <laughs> album. But half of it was music. I used to sing while my guitar gently weeps by George Harrison. Mm -hmm. How did that go? Well, it, I would, uh, there's no point in singing it. And what but year was this when you were 78. Doing... So yeah, I started 78. in Philly in 76. I had a tube, a rubber tube hooked onto the back of a guitar with a water bottle. Right. Turned the valve and water would pour out of the <laughs> tube while I sang while my guitar gently weeps. And then I would go, my pants are wet. And I had a real weird affectation, if you recall. And you mm -hmm. had yours that became your thing that you did that was mm -hmm. kind of, mm -hmm. you had a thing you did. Want to check out a fresh nut? Cruise up here, buds. I'm going to ask you which time we're going to march in some serious grindage. Yeah. And mine was okay. Uh, I had some weird. Right. I like you right. a lot. Right, That's yeah, 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 yeah. But you don't do that shit anymore? I'm a human. I, it I was fucking hysterical. And, thank you. But it's yeah. a, it's a, you know, it's a, two-dimensional character where I got to play that on television. You were doing shtick. It was like shtick. It was shtick. But it, it was, was very a, it was funny. Act. Thank you. Why are you such a chicken? <laughs> I am not a chicken. This is a very delicate situation and I'm just proceeding cautiously because it's <laughs> awkward. Everyone knows you from TV as the dad, as the father, but then they also hear about your, your routine, and, and they it's know quite blue. That now. It's yeah, quite that, blue. Yeah. So how, I mean, how blue are you? Because I haven't seen you. Not that blue. You know? um, I did a special called That Ain't Right on HBO in 2007, and I said fuck a lot. I said it like 200 times because mm. I was a little nervous. Mm. I was at NYU at the, the Skirball Center, and it was a rim shot for me, and I did it because, I don't know, just sometimes you fucking do it. And you will be fucked. You'll be rat fucked. And rat fucking, that's even harder because those little legs are very hard to get. That was about the dirtiest thing. I don't go gynecological. Like, I get offended by people that make me sick when they yeah. talk about sex but, stuff. So, your material and I mentioned stuff. butt. I mentioned go. Uh, in the butt, I'll mention it. But mm -hmm. I want. Mine's like a nine year old kid being silly. I'm not like a. I'm not. I'm disappointing. I'm not as dirty as people want me to be. Mm -hmm. And I don't care. I just do what I. It was like what you said about, at, uh, not to bring up anything sad, but at yeah. Sam Kennison's funeral, mm. you spoke of how Sam said, follow your rainbow. I remember you said mm. that, that you, we all have our, our thing. It sounds gooey and, and woo-woo-y, but it just meant find out what you, who you are and what you do. I became known off of the, the you know, yeah, MTV, but mostly my films. Yes. Casino Man, Biodump, Son-in-Law, In the Army. Now, very Di they're from Disney. Most of them are from Disney. So when I would go on the road and I would be a little bit blue, pe some people would be like, oh, oh, so similar to you. So why is it that we work blue when we're known for being clean? Well, I think you take jobs that, you're, that you get also. Mm -hmm. And if somebody says to you, be in a Disney movie, and we like the irreverence of your character from MTV, you can't plug that much irreverence into a Disney movie. And I got a show which is pretty much it's, you know ABC family type of show mm -hmm. which is full house and I've played a part I acted and I and I didn't mind. what's funny is now everybody was this goes uh, oh you were a good actor because you're they thought I think they thought that I would go home and act like that <laughs> I mean who goes home and goes hi honey and who talks like that hi honey I'm home <laughs> hi girls <laughs> Did you ever think about not taking that job on Full House? Was there a time you're like, I don't know if I... I needed a job, and I, I got fired from one in New York, so the timing was really good. I was um, on the morning program on CBS against the Today Show and Good Morning America, and I got fired. I definitely wanted that job. Mm. 
there are other people that were offered it that didn't take it because they said, I can't do that. I can't um, play the sitcom dad. And then what about uh, Dave Cuyer? Cuyer, Cuyer Dave. and then also uh, the good looking guy. What's his name? Stamos? John Stamos. You, you bang with those guys? What's up? I do. I just saw John recently at something, some restaurant thing two nights ago. He's my friend. We go to Disneyland occasionally just to keep it fruity. And he's he's 50 now, right? He's and more than 50. 51, he's 52. 52. Yeah, it's crazy. Good looking guy. His hair is 28. Yeah. And so what does he do? So is he married or? He is not married. He's single and he's working he on some new show pussy. for Fox. He loves pussy. Well, you know, he's not pussy alone. Pussy loves him. Yeah. Right. And John Stamos, Uncle Jesse. <laughs> Ow! When I mention his names, I can hear eggs ovulating. So the Olsen twins. Yes, sir. Right. What do you think? Well, they're my friends. Yeah, I <laughs> know. I but think? Uh, I met them at nine months old, which is wow. crazy, right? Mm -hmm. And um, my book, which is a New York Times bestseller, by the way, and it talks about the store. It's called Dirty Daddy. Mm. It became a New York Times bestseller. There's a whole chapter where I talk about, I just, uh, they used to change their diapers, and that was wow. just like two years ago. <laughs> and that's, that's Ashley's joke. That's Ashley Olsen's joke. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so they, I mean, they're my friends. So I see them when I'm in New York. They're one year older than my oldest daughter. Wow. They're, they have amazing uh, fashion sense, and they're, they're just cool people. What about the America's Funniest Home Video? Right, I was that the first was host of that. That was fucking insane. That was number that one. That was huge. How many years did that go? Eight with me, and then they had a couple different people. Yeah, oh. but you were the original. Yeah, I was the original. Ameri Here, give it a round. Uh, round yeah, of applause. Right. Hannah, round of applause. Yeah, yeah. cool, this cool. They never told Why do you think that that show was so popular and is so popular? Well, it's, I, originally it was the, you know, there wasn't Candid Camera anymore except for some specials. Mm. It's the closest thing to silent movies in a way. Mm. And it was real. When it was mm. real stuff, mm. like if it's a cat or a dog falling off of something, then that's funny. It was like the original YouTube, you know? Well, it was. And this has been Bob Saget. Thank you for sitting in it's with really me. It's really good to see you, Polly. That's pretty cool that you did this. It's nice to see you, and I'm happy. Yeah. That, and and you, uh, this is your show, and it's yeah. a, it made me really happy to come here and do this. With yeah, you. no, thank you. And um, stay away from the Laugh Factory. Come to the Comedy Store. That's your <laughs> beginnings. Well, no, you also, can work both. I don't care. Just well, I'd like to go where. Um, I, I I like I work the comedy store. I come you, in and, you know and what? play there sometimes. Yeah, you know what? When I see you, you remind me of a comedy store comic. So that's why when I see you or your name at the Laugh Factory, my name is never at the Laugh Factory ever. Uh, like ten years ago, he put it up just because I think he, it was a terror alert, and oh. I think he was just uh, putting to get it up. People in the seats. Yeah, that's yeah. what he did during that. But I I don't go on uh, Marquis except for like my benefits for. Mm. Scleroderma or something. Or Do like that make that. you mad when they put your name in a marquee? Like, only oh, now I gotta says, try. Only if it says "Rest in peace." Make, <laughs> make, make God laugh. Give it up for Bob Saget, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being. Absolutely. Thanks. <laughs>